John Philbert Sengimana, you are the Minister for Youth and ICTs for Rwanda. Now, why is it important for Rwanda to take a part in the WESIS process? Rwanda believes that uh, this WESIS process is a great platform for uh, the global community to meet together and shape the future of how uh, the new information and communication technologies are going to fast track the economic developments of the nations and also improve people's lives. We are very committed. Rwanda is uh, one of the sponsors of the special events in the WISIS and uh, Rwanda has won many prizes for uh, contributing substantively to the progress uh, of this agenda. And do you think that uh, within Africa, Rwanda is uh, uh, one of the leaders when it comes to use of ICTs? There are many ways we can look at it. Uh, most definitely, our president, His Excellency Paul Kagame, is uh, the facto, uh, the, the ambassador, if you will, uh, of the African Union when it comes to matters of ICT. So leadership is very important. But also the leadership needs to be followed by uh, actual investments. So uh, we, we have been uh, investing a lot in ICT, but also opening up our market so that the private sector can invest and create jobs and grow the economy. And when it comes to the, the involvement of the private sector and uh, civil society, do you have a, a process within Rwanda that allows the sectors to work together with government? Absolutely. There are many processes. In, uh, in, uh, in the government, we have something we call a joint sector review. And the ICT sector has a joint sector review that brings together all the actors, the telecom operators, the users, um, the uh, training and education institution, uh, different branches of government that use most heavily ICT and so on and so forth. We meet to review the progress. We, need to, we meet to see how fast we can grow the market because we know that outside the room people will go out and compete. But there are things that we do best when we cooperate. Well, of course, the Rwandan government has many challenges to overcome. To what extent are ICTs uh, a priority within the government? ICT is central to our vision uh, of uh, being a middle-income economy by 2020 and shifting from an agriculture-based economy to a knowledge-based economy. And uh, ICT has three pillars. One is connectivity. Another one is uh, training and skills development and capacity building. And the third is, um, is uh, applications and content. So we believe that by playing well within the three, but by putting in place a conducive environment, uh, Rwanda, in fact, uh, I can say that we are on track in the transformation from uh, an agrarian to a knowledge-based economy. All right, because 2020 is not that far off, is it? And Th that's, that's what gives me confidence that we are getting there. Okay, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so much.